Hello you beautiful people and welcome to the last of the three speed paint videos for my Instagram waffle winners. So this time I had, not that I haven't had fun with the ones before, but this one was really really fun because of the like helpless expression I could use <laughs> and the cool outfit the character had. So I had fun with all three of them, but this one was my favorite somehow. Also. I like how it came out in the end, so yeah. <laughs> I'll, next time I'll record something, I think it will be something traditional, because I like to watch traditional art videos more, so it's also the content I like to produce more, even though the digital speed paints are much easier to produce. I, I, like, I like traditional stuff more somehow, even though it's more complicated. And I want to do, I want to try to sculpt something. I mentioned it in my story on Instagram before, but I want to do a little figure of Loki that can sit on my desk. And I think I will fail at it horribly, but <laughs> I think that will be fun to watch. But I have to wait until my hand gets better. I, I was really lucky that I could do this big pain, but my right hand was really sore this week. My, my wrist hurt from my office job and a lot of drawings I did and I'm doing a lot of sketching at home and yeah. <laughs> that was not the best for my hand though. And but that too I, I made a break of two days where I would not use my right hand, which is my dominant hand, to draw or to write a lot, just what I had to do at work like shortcuts and stuff and typing and that gave me the opportunity to practice with my left hand which is a skill I really want to learn I, I really want to learn to switch my hands and drawing like maybe do the colors with my left hand and stuff because I can like lay my right hand to rest a bit and also it's a really co cool skill to 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 use I think I'm forcing myself to <laughs> become an ambidextrous person, lol. <laughs> no, fun aside, it's, it's a really cool exercise and I think you should totally try that, drawing with your non-dominant hand, whichever that is. If, if you have a, one, I realize that a lot of people are like both-handed and they don't have a problem with that, so maybe I'm part of a minority who, <laughs> who who can't draw with both hands but bad they're dead what's even talking I mean you know maybe I'm part of a minority that can't use both hands to draw maybe that's the thing I really had so much fun with this character it's so cool I mean I really love the design and the the suit and all that stuff and <laughs> the little rose and I really love characters that are having this default expression like eh, I don't want to be here hey hello please don't hurt me <laughs> so that's that's also what I really love to draw Leslie like so <laughs> if, if you want to do me a favor <laughs> and you're one of the raffle winners of the future I don't know when that will happen but you know, then give me some kind of character like that. So yeah, well, I've hit the 500 followers on Instagram though, and I'm so happy. And I did not really expect my channel, my my account there to grow that fast though. That's so a lot of people came to my YouTube, which also makes me so happy because you know it's just a hobby for me. I don't earn any money with it, so but. It's, it's so cool to see that people are like remembering my characters and mentioning them and just having fun with the things I have fun with. So because I, I love creating characters and stories and drawings and art in general and it, this is just a thing that makes me really happy and it makes me more happy that other people are enjoying that too. So yeah, thank you for that. Thank, thank you for the support. You have a special place in my heart. <laughs> yeah. 
I really liked to add the blood, you will see in a second. <laughs> For some reason I really love to draw stains on clothing, especially with watercolors and digital stuff because I don't know, I really just like it. It's, it's, it's just a fun thing to do for me. So, yeah, we, we're like almost at the end though. Here I was adding an overlay uh, to brighten up the color scheme a bit because I found them to be a bit too grey and stuff. And so I added an orange layer and put it on, I think it's overlay. There's the blood, I really like it. But I put it on multiply later because I think that gives it a more natural look and also use the like a softer brush to make it look more like it just strained into the fabric and stained it and you know blood is never that bright when you get it on the, on your clothing though. if you ever had a nose bleed you know that <laughs> So I thank you so much for watching. I thank you so much for supporting my my art <laughs> with, with watching me and liking it and stuff. And yeah, maybe we'll see each other next time. Thank you so much for watching and, and have a really good week and a really good time. And stay safe and all that stuff. Bye bye.